all right guys welcome back to the channel it's your boy jay flex and today we've got a guy that's very familiar to the channel it's bill burr politically incorrect jokes i hope you guys are excited for this one because you know this one is about to go crazy but yeah guys with that being said let's get straight into the video let's go transgender athletes i don't fucking understand that you know <laughs> I understand it if you know you want to switch around. I don't give a shit, but I'm a sports fan. That's a really new concept to me that you can be a dude, right? Ranked 80th in the fucking world. You have your dick cut off. You put on a sports bra, and now you're the number one tennis player in the world. Just coming out there hey. with your man shoulders. That doesn't seem fair. I might be wrong. Hey. I might just be an old guy. I have no idea. <laughs> Well, I'm hearing rumors like some of them are getting into that MMA. You can't have that shit. <laughs> MMA. My nuts, that is a dickless dude beating the shit out of a woman. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He might as well hit her with his discarded dick like a flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. oh. No, it's grounded. Her grounded pound is incredible. That's crazy. Let's bring him to a nice, normal, mainstream topic so everybody can uh -uh. drive home happy. No fights, all right? Sound good? All right, great. Let's talk abortion. There you go. <laughs> Pro-choice always made sense to me because I don't like people telling me what to do. And I always just like, it's your body. Who the fuck am I to tell you what to do with your body? So that always made sense. However, I still think you're killing a baby. See? That's where it gets weird. Pro-choice people are like, well, it's not a life yet. It's not a baby yet. May or may not be true. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. But I'll tell you, mm. my gut tells me that doesn't make sense not a baby yet. That would be like if I was making a cake and I poured some batter in a pan and I put it in the oven and then five minutes later you came by and you grabbed the pan, you threw it across the floor. Hey. And I went, what the fuck? You just ruined my birthday cake. And then you were like, well, that wasn't a cake yet. <laughs> well, it would have been if you didn't do what you just did. There would have been a cake in 50 minutes. Something happened to that cake, you cake murdering son of a bitch. Right? No, I think I know. Do you know what I love about that specific, that, that particular segment? Is that it is, not only is that funny but that's actually a very intriguing metaphor to use for you know this pro-choice pro-life pro-choice debate now what do you guys think i think there's a lot of truth to that hey three minutes something happened to that cake you cake murder and son of a bitch right no, i think i know i think i know how to raise a kid you know what it is you just you just play catch with them that's how you raise a kid you play catch with them you just talk about life you distract them by throwing the ball. They don't even notice you're filling their heads up with your theories. <laughs> right? <laughs> you don't do it the old school way, the way your parents used to. Sit down across from you. You want to tell me about your day? Right? What's that, son? Ah, we're not going to church today. Fuck that. <laughs> ah, it's all a bunch of bullshit. God's Woo! everywhere, but I got to go down there to see him. Really? And he's mad at me down there and I owe you money. Go fuck yourself. Aye, aye, aye. It's not down, it's in here. They try to take it, it's down, it's in here. You do something good, you feel good. You do something bad, you feel bad, you know? Unless you're like a sociopath and you don't feel shit. Unless you got somebody duct taped upside down in your apartment, you know? And, and if you do something like that, I want you to feel like you can come to me, you know? <laughs> yeah, come to me, confess all of that. We'll go down to the precinct, we'll tell them everything. Yeah, mm. I'm gonna turn you in. This isn't fucking Dexter. What are you, you mind? <laughs> Have a little empathy here. Put yourself Thanks, in a uh, lesbian shoes. Who uh -uh. do lesbians think? Women. Who do they do? Who do, who do they do? They move in with women. Who do they get in relationships with? Women. Who do they eventually marry? Women. And I was thinking, honest. like, oh my god, I did that. I know what it's like to live with one of those fucking things. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what that. It's hopeless. Trying to make them happy. Hey, Thanks. I want you the shiny thing. Did I do it right? Huh? Trying to get them to take responsibility for their actions. Not gonna happen. The best you're gonna get is I'm sorry, but I know what it's like to be winning a fucking argument. You're winning, you're winning, you're winning, and then they turn it around. They're crying. You're apologizing. You're thinking, what the fuck just happened? How am I losing this shit? I had you on the ropes. You feel so dumb. You gotta go for a walk, and you're just thinking, how did I lose again? And then you figure it out. It makes you feel stupid, and then you see some bald idiot with a giant orange mustache, and you're like, you know what? Why don't you take some of that shit? <laughs> Hey, I can't lie, I love a Bill Burr rant, man. This guy can 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 rant. And I, you know what, I actually didn't even realise how much he, he dabbles into this politically incorrect space. 
you know, I didn't realise how much how much he jokes about stuff like this. He, he seems like... He, I didn't realise he talks about borderline everything, you know, which is, which is good. This is great. That's what I'm here for. I'm here for it. Orange mustache. He's like, you know what? Why don't you take some of that shit? Hey. Now, look, I know you're not supposed to make fun of fat people. I understand, all right? Uh -oh. I don't know why, though. <laughs> why? They're not a race. They're not a religion. It's totally curable. Eat an apple and go for a walk. Ooh, you know? Gosh. Why are you yelling at everybody else? The fuck are you giving me shit for? All right? You put the cookies in there. I didn't. How is this my problem? Jesus Christ, you ate your way in. You can walk your way out. Ooh, that's all harsh. Right? <laughs> and just slowly start shedding the pounds. Shove some fucking lettuce in there. <laughs> Instead of a bunch of ho-hos, and it's, it's going to come down, and then you're on my side of the fence, right? Join me. Come on, say it with me. Shame. Shame. <laughs> he pointing I, at. I can I imagine always, if he was just pointing at that one just obese guy in the, in, in the crowd. Imagine if he was, because, like, do you know what? I wouldn't play a past bill, you know. <clears throat> I don't actually know. What. I don't know if he's as, as brutal as some of these other comedians like i feel like who's a comedian that would actually point out someone that's fine i feel like jimmy carr would do something like that or uh dave Chappelle might do something like that i don't know if bill bell will actually point someone out in the crowd and actually say hey let's shame this guy i mean that's brutal if he was what do you guys think and then you're on my side of the fence right join me come on say it with me shame shame right I always say my wife, my, when my wife was pregnant, I would say my wife, you know, she's pregnant. And then I always have these people say, excuse me, you're supposed to say we're pregnant? You're supposed to say we're pregnant? It's like, well, I'm not a seahorse. So, I'm not fucking pregnant. My wife is pregnant. Look, she's put- The only males, the only male species that could give a fair play. <laughs> I said it's not a seahorse. Not a seahorse. So, it might be more. I'm, I'm not I'm fucking no pregnant. Seahorse. My wife is pregnant. Look at her. She's putting on weight. Her feet are swelling up. You know, she's aye, miserable. Aye. Fucking miserable. I'm still doing pull-ups. I'm crushing it. While being <laughs> pregnant. I'm still drinking, smoking. Yeah. I saw a woman a couple months back, professional soccer player, right? She goes Ooh. on to ESPN or one woman of these sports WNBA, this is a classic. And she starts bitching, going mm. like, I don't understand. How come female athletes don't make as much as male professional athletes? That's a good question. Right? And all of these men had to sit there and act like they didn't know what the answer was. <laughs> they had to sit there like dumbfounded, like, oh, I don't know. Why is that? Uh, that is a conundrum. I have, I have no idea. <laughs> Literally, I'm sitting at home screaming at the TV because you don't sell any fucking tickets. <laughs> Nobody is going to women's soccer games. You're playing in a 20,000 seat arena. 1,500 people show up. It's Ooh. not a good night. That's the empty. owner lost his fucking ass on that gig. <laughs> Love about sports is it's a great way to tap out from. Hey the guys, can I just say? All I know is if you go on YouTube, bro. Right? And you search women for the WNBA and you look at all the reactions to that. This one does like this reaction, especially to women for the WNBA, especially for, if a woman's reacting to it, goes crazy. Like there's a couple very well-known popular reactions where um, people are just so curious to see how women take this. And if you go on YouTube, you'll see exactly why. Because some of the reactions there, it's like, I mean, you get to see whether they, they want to, you know, address it or if they're going to get offended but hey this is why we're here politically politically incorrect jerks man bill is is he can rant and hey An ass Touch on a that here. love about sports is it's a great way to tap out from the news and just you know watch a game and get away from it now there's like all these causes are getting like attached to it like i was watching the world series and i'm in the middle of watching the world series and out of nowhere they have this moment stand up to cancer i'm watching a ball game and all of a sudden everybody stands up we're holding up a sign of somebody that they either know that's dying of cancer or died of it in the middle of the game. It's just like, what are you doing? <laughs> Trying to watch a game here. You know, no, there's a time and a place. Look, I know somebody. <laughs> I Your know somebody that has died of cancer. I would never go to the movies with you and in the middle of it hit pause and be like, oh, by the way, Conan, I know this guy. <laughs> 
<laughs> he died of cancer. It was horrific. I could have lifted him up off the sheet with two fingers. It was horrible. Hey, enjoy. Oh, by the way, I got molested when I was nine. Enjoy the rest. No, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the fuck is going on. But I think white women started it. <laughs> hey. Oh, it's the worst. The fucking worst. It's all they do is bitch moan and complain. I had no idea how difficult it was to be a white woman in the United States of America. Evidently, it's, it's really difficult. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, they're always bitching. Do you have any idea what it's like to be me? Well, I imagine it would be slightly less awesome than my life. <laughs> what happened to you today, sweetheart? Huh? Did they not chill your rosé? You know? <laughs> Was the trolley not running down at the mall? What happened? <laughs> no, it's unreal. I'm really fucking annoyed how white women have the fucking balls to throw my white privilege in my face. You know? <laughs> Sort of separate themselves from these white males with their white male privilege. It's like, bitch, you're sitting in the jacuzzi with me. The fuck are you talking about? Yeah, put your fucking whining. Look, here's a little caveat here. So you don't think mm. I'm a complete asshole right out of the gate. All right, if you're fucking, if you live in some honey boo boo lifestyle on the Appalachian Trail, you know, uh -oh. your uncle just banged you in the dirt. All right. Well, your fishing background is is part of the the show. Or yes, and I episodes. wanted to talk to you about Jesus after this. Well, I, <laughs> not, the only reason why I bring it up is some people thought maybe you went a little too far. You know, as far you, as what? Well, they thought that maybe you were being disrespectful to the Christian religion. Who did? So, uh -uh. I'm telling you, you need to Google. <laughs> oh, good lord! So, I, did I, you I, feel I, you were being something. disrespectful, or just you you were just having fun with some of the crucifixes and stuff like that? I don't even know what you, I mean, we did maybe two jokes was, about that. Yeah, exactly. Don't you think the Catholic Church went a little too far? Yeah. <laughs> More so than my cartoon. All right, listen. Are you up with jokes? I know this is a morning show. You can't bring up all those crimes. You know what? Technically. They just, they just sort of kept moving them around. You know, like those killer whales at SeaWorld? After it kills a trainer, they'll then move it up to Seattle. They don't give them their background. All right, I'm not totally following, <laughs> but uh, I don't think I want to. You know what I'm to. talking about? It's a morning show. I understand. Like, Eight times I came on. Positive. That kid positive. was missed the graduation, and then, then the, it was a feel-good story. It was a feel-good, and we want to leave. If you want to feel good about America, you watch the morning shows. You don't watch this, you know. If, and watch. We were joking earlier. If that kid's story about the graduation was late night, that would have been a whole different story. What do you think? He's still <laughs> missing. We can't <laughs> find him. All we found was his hat. But you watch in the morning. It's great. It all worked out. He got his own personal graduation. <laughs> Like, I was in such a great mood. Look how <laughs> yellow this couch is. It's like the sun. Hey, guys, you know, only Bill Burr can make these politically incorrect jokes. Like, I feel like it takes a very highly sophisticated comedian to be able to pull off these kind of political inc politically incorrect jokes. I can't speak because if it was anyone else, it would just be hella awkward. You know, Bill Burr, he's one of my favorite comedians, and it goes to show, man, he's very good at what he does. But you thought this one was controversial why don't you check out this philly rant that i reacted to not too long ago because that one there let's just say youtube had to restrict it to a degree because of how controversial it was and how mad it was but yeah guys that being said it's been your boy j flex and this has been bill buzz politically incorrect jokes and you guys have been absolutely wonderful and i'll see you guys in the next one peace